All right, time for another math easy solution here to discuss uh, well simple proof of well it's not too simple it's pretty complex but uh yeah a proof of why e to the pi is greater than pi to the e. I found this in online somewhere and i found it pretty interesting so i wanted to prove it and uh so i got a proof well e, we can just check with our calculator we'll just find out what e to the pi is e to the e to the pi yeah there's 23.14 so it's at the bottom there or you just enter so e to the pi 23.14 so we'll write that down e to the pi goes 23.14 and then yeah it keeps going on and then we'll have let's say pi to the this is 22.45 and well this goes on and then so pi to the e equals yeah, 22.45 and keeps going on so as you can see e to the pi is greater than pi to the e well uh, you could I'll show you a proof without using a calculator because this one is basically like what well, you're just gonna get an imaginary number. You don't really know exactly why. So I'll show you why this is this is true using we'll call this we'll, I'll use this equation. We'll use f x equals x to the one over x. It's a special kind of equation. Now uh, we'll simplify the writing. We'll just call it y equals x one x. So basically now we're gonna lawn both sides. I'll show you why in another video what you could do with logs and whatnot. This is lawning both sides and basically lawn is equal to log base e. I'll show you what these are in another video but this is pretty complex proof but I'll, I'll get there uh, eventually in the videos series. Okay so we'll have this now we'll do implicit differentiation. Implicit differentiation. Take derivative implicitly. Uh, I'll show you another video of why this is true and why you could do this. So we'll just take the derivative like this and we'll we'll use a so if you take derivative of this, this would just be one over y, then chain rule y prime. And this is so basically if you have uh, f of x equals ln x, the derivative is just one over x. This is why ln is used. Log would be something else. And yeah, I'll show you another proof why this is so and whatnot once we get there. So uh, let's say, so we have this, and then you take part, uh, you implicitly differentiate this. This is called implicit because you're, you you don't really solve it directly. You have it, so there's a y there and whatnot. So let's say this one. This one also, you got to know the rule here. This one's equal to 1 over x ln x. So we ln them just so we could get rid of this, um, this weird exp exponent. And this is another uh, log rule we, I'll show you in another video. Uh, so basically we'll have that. And then if you take the derivative of this, this we use chain rule. So this would be uh, negative x squared. Uh, well, this times this is ln x. And this one, again, if you have f of x equals to 1 over x, the derivative is just yeah, this is just negative 1 over x squared. And use uh, chain rule, product rule, whatever. And then plus 1 over x times 1 over x. This is a, that's the derivative of this one. This is using product and chain rule. So this would just be 1 over x squared. And then if you simplify this, this would just be y prime equals to y times, we'll simplify this one, 1 over x squared bracket put a bracket in here, 1 minus ln x bracket, then full bracket. And then if, if you put the value of y, which is, this will just be y equals to x to the 1x times 1 over x squared, 1 ln x. So that's, that's, uh, that's our equation. So now if we want to get max or min, so we go max or min, to find it we put, we set set y prime equals zero. So then if we have zero equals two, yeah, so I just set it there. So we got zero equals, yeah, whatever this was. So now if we just cancel this, divide both sides by this, we can cancel this, cancel this. We're left with, right here, we're left with zero equals to one minus ln x. And then uh, bring it together, you'll have one equals ln x. And then if we, you could, you could do this, you could e to the power of both sides. I'll show you why you could do this, but yeah, you could do that because they're both the same. And then when you have e to the log base e or ln, this is cancels. Yeah, so basically what we're left with here would just be 
yeah, I'll show you why as well in another video. E equals x. So basically, um, we'll have yeah the slope is zero at e equals x, and and this is this either max or min. So we'll have to look at look at the graph how it would look like. So it's either max or min. So we'll go here. This would be y. Let's call this uh, x. So let's say at e, we'll call this e. We'll have here. This is e to the one over e. And this is. We'll call it. Let's say this is where it is. And this is y equals zero. It's positive because it's positive. So if we look at um, y equals x to the one x. It's um. If we look at let's say at at zero, let's say at x is zero, basically we'll have something like x, you know, we'll have zero, one over zero. This the, the limit here is this is infinity. Is one divided by zero, but then this is zero to the power of infinity, so zero infinity it, it approaches zero. So it, it's actually here. So it, it just goes something like this. This is a continuous function, uh or somewhat continuous. Yeah. Um be, because yeah, you could just look at it. If you put a negative one in there, we'll have negative one over negative one. This just equals negative one because this is doesn't really affect it. So then this will be negative. We have one here. This will just be negative one. So it basically and the slopes only one of them changes. So we only have at e. So it's something like this. It goes somewhere there. And then this this one we 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 can just uh we can just assume it goes down. Well, we could even put a big number in. Let's put it, put a hundred. Let's go x is a hundred. Then we'll have one hundred, one over one hundred. This just means you need if you saw my other video a times a times a all the way to a hundred. So a hundred, a hundred times. Well, it's it's obviously it's even less than two. It has it's gonna be between one and two or something like that. Because let's say if you had two, two times two times two times two times, you're gonna have way over a hundred. So, it's it's this does not this is probably less than two. So it's gonna be like something like if this is a hundred. If this is one, it's gonna be something like this or something. It's gonna be close there. It'll be like if that's one. This be some. It'll be somewhere there. But so we we know that it's less. So then. From here we see that this is a maximum. This is a max. Because the slope only changes once. It's a slope is zero only once, so it has to be going down like that. Yeah, and then we know it's not going up because well hundred power of hundred, you can just put in a random number, as you see it's going down. So basically we have at E, uh E to the E is uh, max, so basically max. So from here we can deduce that if you have y equals x to the x, we know that this is the max, so we'll have e, if we put e to the power of e, is greater than, if we put pi in here, pi 1 over pi. So we know this because this is the max. And then if we were to, yeah, let's say times both sides by, we times both of the exponents by. Or we yeah we could just go e to the um, yeah we'll, we'll times both exponents by e to the pi times e to the pi. So yeah you you could do this one. Yeah uh, we could do this because we're doing the same to both sides. We just times by e at times pi, and then you'll see here the e's cancel and the pi's cancel. So we're left with basically e to the pi greater than pi e. Well yeah that's a quick and easy example. I just want to see how the graph looks like. Yeah, let's see the the graph. We would actually graph it. Let's see if, if I was close. So x to the one divided by x. Yeah, so we'll actually get something like this. Uh, as you can see, yeah, it, it reaches max somewhere near there, and that's yeah, basically e is a is a number basically somewhere around there. So what is it? Yeah, as you can see, it it gets bigger and bigger if we were to drag it. So yeah, it's easy it gets smaller and smaller. So we'll have a max somewhere over there. And if we zoom out you'll see it's coming like it's something like that. So yeah, it's going closer and closer to one. And here it doesn't have any negative values here. Um it will actually yeah I, I think yeah, well, what what I should have changed here is that it it's actually not like this exactly. We'll 
it, it's this one was correct. The thing is, you'll have uh, e to the n uh, you'll have like negative power, so you'll have something like negative two to the power of uh, of yeah negative one over over two. So this would just be yeah, you'll have negative two. This would be one over s square root. So basically, uh, yeah, you're 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 dealing with negative square roots, which you'll need imaginary numbers and whatnot. You see my other video, imaginary numbers. We're basically i squared equals negative one. So basically, yeah, this is the problem there. So the the, the Google the, this didn't bother, but yeah, this one is correct. This point, so it would just be that point. But this is correct. Yeah, so it just it ignored it for any negative values. But yeah, this is a quick, somewhat easy to understand. But if you yeah, if it's easier to understand if you have went through calculus and know all this uh, all these terms. And when I'll show, I'll probably I'll get there eventually. I'll in my video series. Well, thanks for uh, watching and stay tuned for another math easy solution.